There's some fake masters, of course, they don't have anything to teach you. They just talk the same, they copy my talk. Exactly, even copy, play and with bad people. And, oh my God, it's such evil because to mislead people into your low evil domain is the worst thing you can do to anyone. But of course, evil entities, they do that. That's what they do. They mislead people, they cheat people, they delude people into believing in them so that they can have a bigger entourage, so they can control them, can enslave them and make them do wicked things for them to make the world chaotic and loveless and warlike so that they can control people's minds and then they can create war and all that in order to eat up the astral bodies and the energies of the agonizingly dead or even still alive, half dead or nearly dead people. So it's very dangerous to be near some monsters like that who fake to be a monk or fake to be a teacher. In some of the black magic or normal magical practice, some people can be adapted to sucking the juice out of, for example, an orange, so that they don't have to even eat the orange. They can use their magical mind to suck up all the juice from the orange and make the orange become empty and squeezed up, just an empty shell. Furthermore, some evil people, they have this kind of power to suck up people's life force and energy. So whoever goes near them or believes in them, if they want to eat that person up, then they keep sucking them up gradually until that person withers and dies, like a dead flower, nothing left. It depends on how many evil fake masters do that together to one person. If only one, then it takes long, and then that person doesn't die and wither so quickly. It's slowly, slowly. Yeah, Most of them, they do that so that nobody suspects their evil deed. And also they don't need a person's life force or the life force in one day or one go. They do it slowly, slowly, sipping it, like you sip in water. And this is really evil. <laughs>